Our story begins in December of 1880, when a bitterly cold winter froze the ground and halted the digging of graves. The bodies of those who perished during that icy season were kept in an ancient hillside vault. The arrival of spring required that the burial vault be emptied of caskets and the corpses laid to their permanent rest. The undertaker for these regions was a man named George Birch, a wretched man of questionable moral character. He hated his work and showed little respect for his inanimate customers. Utterly crass of fiber and function, the practices attributed to him would be unbelievable even today. Burying a casket in the wrong grave was a common occurrence in this graveyard, and many relatives wondered what had become of the jewelry and heirlooms that had been sealed up with their dearly departed. Yet Birch continued his appalling work year after year after year, until one day... Aha! Here's some company. All right. Who's the next lucky stiff? I'm gonna do. I'll die here if I don't get out. Think, George, think. Hmm. Ah, freedom. Should have built stronger caskets. was the same after that. He would never discuss that night if he could avoid it, and he attributed his limp to clumsiness and drink. But he would sometimes whisper of blacker things, the ghastly nature of which would become the stuff of legend. And may you rest in heavenly peace. 
Amen. George changed for the better, though. He drank a little less, made fewer errors in burial, and tidied up the cemetery. It was even rumored that he occasionally prayed over a fresh grave in order to avoid further misfortune. But George also removed that blasted vault door, just in case. Mm-hmm.